Hey, Dustin from SalonGrowthAcademy.com, and I make these videos because there's a lot of broke hairstylists out there, and I don't want you to be one of them. So in this video, I'm titling this The Bad Website Fix. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple websites that I consider bad websites, and I'm going to tell you what is wrong with them, and um, you can kind of evaluate. A lot of you already have salon websites, and you can kind of evaluate um, if, you, if your website is falling into those same categories, you're making these same mistakes, and how to fix them. So that's the whole point of this video. Um, the reason I'm doing this or taking this approach is because I can literally go to Google and search any city in the country uh, for hair salons. And 90% of the results, if not more, are going to be really crummy websites, um, websites that have major things wrong with them. And the reason that's important is because your website, in my opinion, if you've read any of my, if you've read my book or um, any of my videos, you'll know that I believe that your website is your number one marketing asset. Um, it's not your Instagram profile. It's not uh, business cards. It's not anything else. It is your website, and everything that you do in your marketing. Um, should point to your website. And then what happens is people come to your website and they should fall in love with you right away and want to schedule an appointment with you right away if your website's doing its job properly. If it's not um, doing its job properly, then people will click the back button and you're literally losing money. Um, you're losing potential clients that could turn into clients, that could be lifelong clients, and that could translate into thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's my opinion that your website really needs to be on point and you should focus most of your marketing efforts on getting that right. So that's the reason that I'm making this video. Um, so what I wanna do before we go over to the computer and I show you the example negative websites, I want um, to tell you what your website needs to have on it. So you can see the, the positive things and, and what it needs to do in order to convert visitors to your website into clients. So there's three things that you need above the scroll. And when I say above the scroll, when somebody comes to your website, either on a desktop or on your mobile phone, um, what they see right there is above the scroll. Once they start scrolling, that's below the scroll. So it's really important that the stuff above the scroll or the very first impression type stuff, that's the way that you can look at it, um, is really on point. And you need to be able to answer three questions. The first question is, is this a hair salon? Yes or no, it's real simple. They need to be able to know by the images that you choose and the text that you have that it is a hair salon. And they need to be able to know this within a, the first couple seconds. If they have to be searching all over the website just to find out if you're a salon or not, then they're not gonna last very long there and you've lost a client. Second thing is, are you going to give a good hair service? So obviously they cannot know that for sure until they actually go to your salon and receive a service from you. But most people are just looking on the website for you to prove to them in some way that you're going to give them a good service, that you're a high quality um, salon that um, is, yeah, the best in town really is what we're going for. And so there's a few ways that you can do this. Um, you can do this through images or um, you can do this through text. And the text that you use and the images you use are really important and the design that you use for the text and the images. Okay, so the font, the size of the images, the color, um, what the images are of. And I'm going to talk about images in just a second. So the second thing is, are you going to give me a good hair service? And you need to be able to do that above the scroll. The third thing is, how do I schedule an appointment? So um, this is either going to be your phone number needs to be above the scroll or your online scheduling button should be above the scroll. Those are the three things that you need immediately um, because people are scanning your website. Um, people don't read websites, they scan them. And so they're scanning your website, particularly above the fold, that you're going to do uh, have a good first impression. And if you have a good first impression and you have those three things in there, um, then uh, the rest of the website will kind of take care of itself. And if you, if you haven't read my book yet, you should um, pick that up. Uh, simple salon marketing. I go through this whole process and not just above the scroll, but all of the different sections below the scroll to be able to hit a home run on your homepage. I, I lay that whole thing out in the book. So in this, we're just going to talk about that first section above the scroll, which is called the hero section. Um, I want to talk about images real quick before we go over to the uh, bad example websites. Images are really important. Um, I've seen just hundreds of salon websites and a lot of them just have crummy images. Um, the images are of uh, things that don't have anything to do with hair salons, maybe a running stream because that seems um, peaceful. Um, it, the images are just wrong. So you want your images to be large. 
um, and you want happy, smiling people to be in them, and you want them to be simple. You want the visitor of the website to be able to identify with what they're seeing and put themselves in that environment. So it should be a happy, smiling person. The visitor that's looking at your website should be able to say, oh, that person is happy at this salon. If I go there, I too will be happy. They can insert themselves into that situation. So um, those are the three things. What we're going to do now is go over to Google and I've already searched salon in Pensacola, Florida. And the reason I chose that was just very random um, because uh, we spent some time in Pensacola a couple months ago and I really love that area. So I thought, let's just try it. It really doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter what city we go to. Um, any city I choose, we're gonna find some example of some crummy websites. So we're just gonna do this first one right here, Trends Salon and Spa. I'm gonna click on their website and this is what it is. So it looks, very simple. Again, we're only going to spend time above the scroll, which is everything that you see right here. And what I can see from this is Trends Salon and Spa. So number one, they do tell me that they are a salon right up front. Just It's not even a logo. It's just the text. The second thing is, are they going to provide me with a good hair service? You know, can I trust them? So what I see here is um, images. And they do have a happy, smiling person. This one is waxings. I know that they offer waxings. They have this image scroller here. And then they have a palm tree, which is interesting. They're in Florida, so I guess that makes sense. It's a little bit irrelevant because it has nothing to do with a hair salon. but So I'd get rid of that. Um, and then they, they show some of the services being done. So I would say, like, I don't really like scrollers. And I like the hero image to be... Um, the entire width of the website and they're really limiting themselves with the size of the image it's pretty small um, and it's a square image but it's not horrible they're at least letting me know that they're a hair salon and they have some you know beautiful people on there with nice hair that are showing you know that they're happy and, and getting a good service and the cool thing about this too by the way is they are using royalty free or stock images which means they bought these now, when it comes to images, uh, I don't think that you should have too many model photos. You want photos that sort of resemble your target audience. And most of these are, you know, they're like hair models or supermodels or that kind of thing, which is okay. It's better than not having people in your photos. Um, like this one right here. I don't know. I wouldn't have chosen that one uh, because it, it was just a picture of the building at night. Not really the best thing. So they have a lot of images. I would have chosen one image that really knocks it out of the park instead of, you know, like 10 different images it looks like they have here. So that's what I got above the scroll. The third question is, how do I schedule an appointment? So unfortunately, they don't have a phone number above the scroll and they don't have an online scheduling option above the scroll either. So this is a really simple website, by the way. Um, I, I literally just scroll halfway down and that's the bottom of the website. So there's really not much even going on here. So um, as far as convincing me that this is a great hair salon, I'm not going to say it's a horrible hair salon, but I'm not really convinced because there's, there's really no text. I mean, besides the name of their business and then, um, you know, follow us their hours and say hello. There's nothing on here with, with convincing me that they're going to provide a good hair service besides the images. And I think that you need images and text. Um, the other thing about this is, and this this might go for, you know, the reason we're doing this is so that you can kind of evaluate your own salon. So um, what I see here is a really old um, website theme or design. Um, notice that on the sides here, there's kind of this placeholder, which tells me that's probably not a mobile friendly website. If we scrolled this down and looked at it on a mobile device, it probably wouldn't shrink or um, change with the size of the screen that you're looking at on. And it's really important these days because most people are searching on their phones to be able to get one that's, it's called responsive, a responsive website that changes with um, the size of the screen. So uh, this is a really old style of a design where you have your entire website kind of in the middle here. And no matter what size the screen is on, it'll just shrink this instead of reformatting um, to the different sizes of screens, whatever whatever somebody's looking at. So um, so anyway, I give this one maybe a B minus. It's not a horrible website. Um, it is definitely outdated. 
the style and design is outdated and, and it definitely needs updating and it needs more text. There needs to be different sections on here that convince me more and more the more that I scroll down that um, this is gonna they're gonna give me an excellent hair service. So anyway, I'm just gonna click the back button. That is Trend Salon and Spa. And then this one here is just a salon suite, it looks like. So I'm not going to click on that because it's probably more um, for the hairstylist than the salon. And then we have Element Salon. So let's go to this website here. And um, this is what we see above the scroll. So a few things wrong with this. So let's just send it through the paradigm of the three questions. Um, is it a hair salon? Well... The only thing that would tell me it's a hair salon is welcome to Elements Salon, and then I have to read a bunch here. It's just kind of small text, um, and if I'm not wearing my glasses, that's even kind of hard to see. So maybe I can kind of tell that it's a salon, but there's nothing about hair. We just have these rocks to kind of give it that, you know, massage rocks. For all I know, it could be a massage um, salon or parlor or whatever. So, yeah, kind of. I can kind of tell it's a hair salon, which is a really negative thing up front. I need to know that instantly, that emphatically, yes, this is a hair salon by the text and by the images. And I can barely tell just because it says Elements Salon that it is some sort of a salon. I don't know if it's a hair salon or not. Um, second thing is, are they going to give me a good hair service? Well, I can't really tell that by this either. The image has nothing to do with a salon. Um, it says at Element Salon, we can't wait to meet you. Drive by the salon, let's talk about if it's your schedule. Okay, so no, they don't tell me anything about if they're going to give me a good hair service. So I'm not convinced. By this time, I'm probably already clicking the bat button, back button, and I'm going to look for a different salon in the area because this just isn't connecting with me at all. And then the second, the third thing is how do I schedule an appointment? So it looks like they have a book, um, an appointment online scheduling button here, which is great. Um, I appreciate that. You know, at least they got one out of the three here so let's scroll down a little bit and let's just see okay so this is a very very common problem i know i said i was going to stick above the fold but i want to be able to talk about this as well um tons of text so here is here's the deal people scan websites like this fast they don't read websites which means you need great images and you need little headings of text that people can read as fast as they're scrolling here that connects with them on somewhat of an emotional level. So these guys just have tons of text. Nobody's going to read this. Um, the images aren't good. The only image they have are these rocks here. And that just doesn't tell me anything. So what they need to do, let's just, let me just tell you what they need to do. Um, I like this hero section. It is a full page image, which is great. That's more updated than the previous um, a website that we looked at, it's a little bit more of updated of a design. Um, this could be better. I mean, like the the background of the text, it, it looks like an amateur kind of put this together. Um, but this, this hero image needs to have a happy, smiling person with beautiful hair. That's what's going to connect with the client. That's what's going to connect with the visitor. So they're kind of striking out um, as far as that's concerned. Uh, and then too much text. They're not giving me easy, scannable things to look at. So I can't tell from this website that this is a great website. I'd have to continue clicking to be convinced, and people just don't spend a lot of time clicking. Um, what's kind of funny, and sorry to make fun of, I don't, I don't mean to make fun, but like this is called Element Salon, and this says Elements. I, I'm guessing this is their logo, which is horrible, totally unprofessional. It's in the wrong spot. It should be over in the top left. It should be longer. Like everything, everything about this is no good. So anyway, that's that's kind of my critique of some negative websites. Um, this is uh, video one in a four part series. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example, my example, the website that I created of a excellent hair salon website and if you bought my book and if you are watching this inside the course um, then this is the exact website in the, the next website or the next video is going to be the exact website that I build inside my online course and that I build with you inside the book so um, so that'll be good because you can kind of follow along with that so anyway um, that is it for this I hope it makes sense the elements that I wanted you to see were um, your images need to be right, your messaging needs to be right, um, and your messaging needs to be scannable. It can't that you can't expect people to read, you know, a thousand words on a page, 
and because um, they just don't have time for that. People are used to clicking and clicking and clicking and being entertained and being and, and having the material connect with them quickly. And if they don't feel that connection right away, then they're going to go to the next website, which means you're losing business. So the cool thing, and this is going to be um, video four of this series, is if we click the back button, um, this section right here is called the Google 3-pack in the Maps section. And so the good thing about these two hair salons is that they are up here, which means they're probably getting a lot of clicks because they're right at the top of Google search. And that's a good thing. We're going to talk about in um, video four how to do that, how to rank your website so that it is in the top three positions so that people are clicking it. So good for them on that, but their web designs could definitely be improved and updated because of the reasons that we just talked about. So hopefully you can look at your website if you already have one and evaluate um, you know, some of the things that you, we saw wrong on these websites, evaluate if you're making the same mistakes and then fix those mistakes. And if this video has helped you realize that your salon website needs some help and you just want me to do it for you, then I want you to head over to salongrowthacademy.com slash website and check out that website there. That is what I call a templated website. It's the website that we're going to go over in video two. But if you want me to do that for you and you want to just have that exact website as your own, then you can just click any one of the buttons on that page or the green bar at the top and that will take you to a checkout page. And for $97 a month, I will design that website for you. We'll put your domain name on it. We'll change out your logo and your contact information. And you will, within a couple days, have a beautiful website ready that you can start using for your salon. So if you don't have a website or if your website um, is really outdated and it doesn't have the elements that we talked about today or it's making a lot of those mistakes and you just want a fix immediately, then head over to salongrowthacademy.com website and I'll build it for you. Thanks so much for watching and make today extraordinary.